MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Washington Nationals and the New York Mets. Now at the play, Trey Turner, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Leading off the afternoon for Washington, the football play Turner. Here comes the first pitch. Nope. And this misses outside and a bit high. One ball, no strikes. A one and one count to the Nationals leadoff batter. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone. One and two. Our temperature not quite as hot as we'd expected. 85 degrees, the reading at first pitch. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Adam Eaton is on deck. He'll hit next. And the curveball is swung on and missed. And a good pitch there results in a strikeout to begin the afternoon. Adam Eaton digging in next. Adam. In previous duels with DeGrom, he's a 333 hitter. He's taken him deep once. Pitch popped straight up. DeGrom has a play. He's got it, and there are two down now. Standing in, Juan Soto. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. Bounce to first. He's right there. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. So digging in now, Brandon Nimmo. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The center fielder, Brandon. Here it comes. Nimmo. A ball of no strikes. One and one to the Mets leadoff hitter. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. He's around second now as they're still searching for it out there. Here's Robbie Cano now. Down the first baseline. Fielded cleanly by Zimmerman. And not in time as the run scores. Stepping, he'll get to take his first cuts here. From the stretch. 0 oh, and 1 the count. Taken, but that catches the inside part of the plate. Hit on the ground out to short. And that's through for a hit. Standing in now, Michael Conforto. As he'll take a good look at a curveball that sweeps right across the zone in there for the first strike. This is exactly the situation you drew up from an offensive standpoint. Good pitcher on the mound, but you got a chance to bury him early in this one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. A bare hand for one. On to Zimmerman, and they get them both. Riding in, Joanna Cespedes. And the Mets with an opportunity for more damage here in the first. Strasburg comes set, and the pitch. He's a veteran out on that mound. He understands he has to establish that inside fastball to open up the outer half of the plate. 1-0 pitch is a changeup that runs high 2-0. 2-0 to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Here's the 2-1. Oh, 
You can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. set for the start of the inning and that'll bring up the power hitting first baseman Ryan Zimmerman now here's the pitch swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one 88 on a changeup I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad man the game's changing count even at one and one to the Nationals first baseman fastball called strike one and two And he chased it in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, one down. Here now is his Drubal Cabrera. Number 13, Drubal Cabrera. First offering on its way. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. We're in the second, one nothing Mets early on. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. Hit sharply toward the right side. Conforto is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Here's Howie Kendrick. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Kendrick waiting, now the pitch. Skied into very shallow right. Right fielder giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonso. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The 1-0. is looked at for ball number two. High and away, not close. 3-0. and Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. Set to deal. Here's the 3 1. Swing and a miss as he was way early on that one. 3 and 2. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup and the bottom fell out of it. Zimmerman is there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So one away here with the bases empty. And next is the catcher, Wilson Ramos. First pitch of the at bat. Well, they got to him in the first inning, which is huge, but he looks a lot more settled into this ball game right now. He's not the kind of pitcher you... Line toward the alley in left center. But this will hang up just enough as he takes it in in stride in left center for the second out. Digging in, Andres Jimenez will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Strasburg comes set. First pitch on its way. That's a tough pitch right there. Curveball kind of front hit. Your first move is to bail a little bit and kind of not want to get hit by that pitch. I can totally understand. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Stepping up now, Kurt Suzuki. 7 8 9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. Here comes the first pitch. Good slider there, gets a swing and miss. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. The M.O. of this pitcher in the early going is certainly establishing the inside part of the plate. He has been dominant. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat 
if a guy can effectively, consistently pitch inside like he is. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Kurt Suzuki is retired to kick off the inning. Eric Thames comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Ball and a strike. One and one. Nationals have yet to crack the hit column thus far. Well, they'll run this one in on him, and he can't Count. connect, one so he finds two. himself down one and two now. Boy, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo. Up and in. To two balls and two strikes now. Slider laid off for a ball. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. A little roller toward the hole. And now he throws on the brakes, but he can't get back to first, and he's nailed for the second out. Big mistake there. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Steven Strasburg. Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. Two out, nobody on. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Cano ranging into the outfield. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring up the converted shortstop from his days at Stetson University, Jacob DeGrom. And this one runs up high, ball one. Really high curveball right there, struggling with the release point. That's the key to the curveball, figuring out and finding that release point. Count even now at one and one. And now pitch on the way. Clearly wasn't ready for the fastball because it was her cut and he couldn't pull the trigger. Might have been looking for another curve. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Now back. So one man gone for the Mets in the third. And ready to bat next, the Wyoming native Brandon Nimmo. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Back up the middle. And Kendrick gives it a reach going by, but it's into center field for a base hit. Now that the second baseman, Robinson. Here comes the second baseman, Robinson Cano. And he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. He pulls this one into right. Eaton is there. Two down. So coming to the plate, J.D. Davis. He singled his last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nope. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that feel because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. Laid off, but a cold strike as that caught the outside. Two balls and a strike. To two and two now. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Another two two offering. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. Another full count pitch home. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Swing and a liner, but foul. Hard hit toward the hole. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. The right fielder, 30. 
Conforto. So now to the plate, Michael Conforto. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. 0-2, here it is. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Now a curveball is in there. One and two now. You know, from an offensive standpoint, they already knew they had their work cut out for him against a great pitcher, but if he's going to locate like that, this is going to be a tough day. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. One away now. Here's Adam Eaton. First pitch on its way. And he fouls this one off. Behind 0-2 now. No runs, no hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. One and two now to Adam Eaton. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. So two are gone now in the Nationals fourth. And that'll bring up the dynamic bat of Juan Soto. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And up next, the big RBI-minded bat of Yoenis Cespedes. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Pitching a little bit backwards in this situation. I'd expect a hitter to be sitting off speed. And he lays off for ball one. The 1-1. One, one. And it's fouled away. Hey, last two pitches back-to-back -back off speed, then he's late on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Thames patrolling center makes the play one out. So here's Pete Alonzo. Fly down in his first at-bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Comes set, here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Here's a slider to start things out, looked at for ball one. Swing and there it goes. Deep to left. No chance at bringing this one back. Gone! Now that and that'll bring up Wilson Ramos. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And he looks at a slider in there. 1 and 1. Here's the pitch. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Heading out towards shallow right. Eaton in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. Andres Jimenez the next to bat. Andres Jimenez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Uh, no plate discipline that time, and he's in the hole now, 0-2. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked. And the second baseman is there to make the play, and that ends the inning. A 
ball ready to go in the top of the fifth. And here comes the first baseman, Ryan Zimmerman. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. The third base. Now at the plate as Drupal Cabrera. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. No runs, no hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Lays off the slider, and it's one and one. A good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Here's the pitch. Popped straight up. DeGrom will take charge himself out there, and there's two down. Now that so striding forward game. now, Howie Kendrick. Howie. He flew out in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. All bets are off for the offense right now. This guy's got a low pitch count, he's attacking his own. They have to get more aggressive. This guy's not going anywhere. Hard hit ball to second. Cano fields it cleanly. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Here's the Mets pitcher, Jacob DeGrom. That was a strikeout victim in his first try. From the stretch. Hit on the ground to third. And a flip to first from Cabrera in time for the first out. Here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. It was a single for him in his last at bat. The pitch. And that's in there for strike one. Slider, and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. One ball and two strikes to count. The one two. That was a nasty pitcher's pitch right there. Most guys strike out on that one. He was able to scramble that a little bit and give him another chance. And hopefully, this pitcher misses over the heart of the plate. So it was a strikeout looking there. Brandon Nimmo becomes the second out in the bottom of the fifth. The second baseman, Robinson Cano, is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here, middle of the order guys coming up. Let's see if he can extend the inning. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring in the catcher, Kurt Suzuki. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. A ball and a strike to count to Suzuki. Fouled off. The one-two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Riding in once again, Eric Thames. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one. Mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. Fouled away. Misses. Ball two. One out. Nobody on. 
still two and two. And here's a curveball that's laid off that time. It's full three and two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Striding into the box, Steven Strasburg. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. No balls and a strike to count. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 2. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Digging in and looking for more, J.D. Davis. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. J.D. He's set and the pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. A ball and two strikes now. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there, stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball. And now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. Two and two the count. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Next up for New York, Come Michael back. Conforto. He looked to bounce back after Michael. striking out his last Conforto. time up. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Line drive to left. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. The left fielder, number 52. Here's the left fielder, Yoannis Cespedes. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. No hits to this point. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Ground ball foul down the left side. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Strasburg comes set. First pitch on its way. Pete Alonso is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Line drive to left. Oh, and he misses it. Runner takes the turn at second on his way to third. Throw to third, and he's out. But one run does come in to score on the play before the inning comes to an end. Seventh inning ready to roll, and in the bat is Trey Turner. We're moving right along into this one as we head into the late innings. Listen, if you want to score, you got to have to bunch some hits together, and they haven't been able to do that so far. So hopefully, this leadoff guy, this will be the right guy at the right spot to get something going. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night, working that outer half of the plate. That's why he's having so much success. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And he'll put this one away for the first down of the inning. In now is Adam Eaton, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And it's gone! Now back. 
Here now is Juan Soto. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. This guy's throwing a gem so far. Biggest key, 80% of his first pitches have been for strikes. A swing and a high drive to right center field. And this one's gone. And they're within one after back-to-back -back homers. Now batting, the first base. Ryan. Zimmerman. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Oh. 0 oh for 2 for him to this point. Swung on and missed. 1-1. One one. Nice adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. Two balls and a strike now. The 2-1 and one on its way. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as, yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. At the plate, as Drupal Cabrera. 0 for 2 with a line out and a pop out. First offering on its way. Good downward action there, and it's 0 and 1. Something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate. Seems like way too many guys are chasing pitches out of the zone and trying to hit pitchers, pitchers like that one down and away. There's no success in that. On the ground to third. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. It comes for the traditional seventh inning correct. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and next is the catcher, Wilson Ramos. The catcher, Wilson Ramos. First pitch of the at-bat. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And this is high, a ball and a strike. And it's one and two. Here's the pitch. Lifted into center field. Thames is right there, one down. Digging in, Andres Jimenez. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Pitch popped up. Cabrera in foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Dominic Smith will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Pinch hitting for the net. Number two. Dominic. There's a change up taken, but it finds the zone on the inside. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Jerry Spamilia has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth.
Stepping into the box, Howie Kendrick. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Again, a one-two. Down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Kendrick waiting. Now the pitch. Grounded down the third baseline. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. The captain. Ready now, Kurt Suzuki. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First offering on its way. Boy, not even close with that one, and he's behind 0-1. I love the fact that this batter continues to be aggressive, but after striking out twice already, maybe he's got to take a step back, see the ball a little bit deeper, and be willing to work deep into the count. To 1-2 and two now. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone, but I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes, and now the count is two and two. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Eric Thames is in for the third time here as he watches one that misses low. It's a ball and no strikes. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Bottom of inning number eight set to go and ready to bat next the Wyoming native Brandon Nimmo. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A high fastball is in there. Off the plate one ball one strike. He's set here comes the one one. Top toward the second baseman. Kendrick's got it. Throw on to first in time, one away. In now, Robinson Cano. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. He's set. Here it comes. And even though he's had some success against this guy in the ball game, he still knows he's a very dangerous opponent. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. The tag, and he's nabbed, trying for two. Now batting, third base man. J.D. Davis, the next to bat. As he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Cold strike as the slider gets the outside corner. Skied into straightaway right. Eaton on the move. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Starlin Castro will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 14, Starlin Castro. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Off the plate. One ball, one strike. The 1-1. One, one. Misses for the second ball. This is foul right side. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. 
you could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order. Here now is... Trey Turner, they'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. Dylan Batensis takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Lays off 1-0. and Castro on at first, nobody out. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Cespedes has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. So a runner at first now with one away. And the next to bat is Speedy Adam Eaton. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off-speed hitter. You could tell by that last at bat he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. 1-0 pitch. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. But tenses is exactly what you want out of a bullpen arm. It's a rare occasion that anyone squares him up. He doesn't give up a lot of hits, and when he does, they're almost always kept in the yard. Matty V, there are two keys to being a good relief pitcher, and always remember these. One, limit the base on balls. Two, keep the ball in the ballpark. You can't. Uh, just a sec now as that ball finds its way into the outfield, a base hit. And the runner will score from second. Now he's safe at third as they take the lead with two runs scoring on the play. To the plate now, Ryan Zimmerman. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strike out here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. And the recovery will be in time to get him at the plate. And that's going to hurt because now there are two away. One and two. Struck him out. So it remains a one-run lead as they head in for their final set of swings. the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Number 21. Tanner. Standing in, Michael Conforto. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Strike taken up in the zone. Rainey, a 27 year old, he was taken in the second round back in the 2015 MLB draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level. And that's through into center field, so the time runs aboard to kick off the inning. Up next to the back. Go up here. So here's you in Cespedes. And this is hit hard to the right side, but foul. A one pitch on its way. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. So a big moment here in standing in, Pete Alonzo. And he does so representing the possible go-ahead run. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. The win would be Steven Strasburg's here, barring any late turn of events. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. A drive to left. Get out of here. Get out of here. Gone. They win it. Santa Maria.
Well, they say better late than never, and that's obviously something that he takes to heart as he puts a charge in one for a walk-off homer. Got to be the best feeling in all of baseball. And they did some damage offensively in this one, enough to get the win, and this man led the charge. He's our tops player of the game. When you walk up to the plate and hit a walk-off tater, you're probably going to be the player of the game, and that was a clutch swing of the bat, and he'll be riding high on that one for a while, I'm sure. A one-run finish today, 5-4 to four, the final score. The Metropolitans came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Dylan Batensis gets the W on the mound. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the Show Nation.